Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Reactor, and Quinn is currently out of town, so he's not going to be joining me. But uh, today's article comes from TheGuardian.com, and it says, Humanity has wiped out 60% of animal populations since 1970, reports find. report finds. The huge loss is a tragedy in itself, but also threatens the survival of civilization, say the world's leading scientists. So, yeah, we, everyone knows we wiped out a bunch of animals. It's not anything new. We kill animals all the time. Humanity has wiped out 60% of mammals, birds, fish, and reptiles since 1970, leading the world's foremost experts to warn that the annihilation of wildlife is now an emergency that threatens civilization. So, 60%. Humanity has wiped out 60% of mammals. That, that includes our history as humans, though. So, I mean, how realistic is that? I mean it makes it sound a lot worse than it probably really is like i get we're killing animals but the new estimate of mass of the, the the new estimate of the massacre of wildlife is made in a major report produced by the world wildlife federation and involving 59 scientists from across the globe it finds that the vast and growing consumption of food and resources by the global population is destroying the web of life billions of years in the making upon which human society ultimately depends for clean air water and everything else so I mean, like, basically, uh, nature slowly evolved into this perfect balance. But once humans uh, gained consciousness they and were able to manipulate their surroundings, they became the gods. So we started putting massive change in the environment, and the entire perfect balance is disassembling. So, yeah, that's what's happening. The new estimate of the massacre of wild meter report, blah, blah, blah. We are sleepwalking towards the edge of a cliff, said Mike Bennett, Barrett, Mike Barrett, executive director of science and conservation at WWF, which used to be the World Wrestling Federation until they got sued by the WWF. And yeah, if there was a 60% decline in the human population, that would be equivalent to emptying North America, South America, Africa, Europe, China, and Oceania. That is the scale of what we have done. Uh, okay, yeah. This is far more than just being a, about losing the wonders of nature. Desperately sad, sad, though, that is, he said. This is actually now jeopardizing the future of people. Nature is not uh, nice to have. It's our life support system. Okay. Yeah, see, but I don't think humans are ever going to stop doing what they do because we have a finite lifespan and we know it. And that's a, part, that's a problem with with animals that know they're going to die, they don't really care about their environment. Once we have immortality, then everything might change, but until then, nobody cares. Like, they're going to die, so why do you care about 500 years in the future? It's really difficult to care about that. We are rapidly running out of time, said Professor Johan Rockstrom, a global sustainability expert at the Post Dam Institute for Climate Impact Research in Germany. Only by addressing both ecosystems and climate do we stand a chance of safeguarding a stable planet for humanity's future on Earth. So we're wiping out these, these species by cutting trees down. We're cutting trees down, which is also causing CO2 to accumulate in the atmosphere because trees take care of our CO2 for us. And then we have cars making CO2 and no trees to take it out. Yeah. Many scientists believe the world has begun a sixth mass extinction, the first to be caused by a species, Homo sapiens. Other recent analysis have revealed that humankind has destroyed 83% of mammals and half of plants since the dawn of civilization, and that even if the destruction were to end now, it would take five to seven million years for the natural one world to recover. So wait, wait, wait. did I read that wrong? Did it say... Did it say 60% of the animal population since 1970? Okay. So, yeah. The Living Planet Index produced by WWF by, produced for WWF by the Zoological Society of London uses data on 16,704 populations of plants or of animals, birds, fish, reptiles, and amphibians representing more than 4,000 species. To track the decline of wildlife between 1970 and 2014, the latest data available, populations fell by an average of 60%. Four years ago, the decline was 52%. The shocking truth, said Barrett, is that wildlife crash is continuing unabated. Wildlife and the ecosystems are vital to human life, said Professor Bob Watson, one of the world's most eminent 
environmental scientist and currently cha chair of an intergovernmental panel on biodiversity that said in March that the destruction of nature is as dangerous as climate change. Isn't climate change the destruction of nature? Yeah, basically, yeah, the world's doomed. I think everyone's okay with it at this point. We all understand that. Nature contributes to human well-being culturally and spiritually as well as through the critical production of food, clean water, and energy, and through regulating the Earth's climate, pollution, pollination, and floods, he said. The Living Planet report demonstrates human activities destroying nature at an unacceptable rate, threatening the well-being of current and future generations. So, yeah, like, the Earth is is made up of a bunch of systems. We've got, like, the tectonic plates. We've got... Uh, our ecosystem and everything balances so basically our planet is alive and by destroying certain systems it's like destroying a system on a human body it causes an imbalance and the body tries to compensate but it, it really doesn't do anything I don't know the biggest cause of wildlife losses is the destruction of natural habitats much of it is to create farmland three quarters of all land on earth is now significantly affected by human activities killing for food is the next biggest cause 300 mammal species are being eaten into extinction. Extinction. Ugh. Wow. We're eating endangered animals while the oceans are massively overfished, with more than half now being industrially fished. Right. Chemical pollution is also significant. Half the world's killer whale populations are now doomed to die from PCB contamination. PCB, is that like the plastic stuff? Global trade into... In the global trade introduces invasive species and disease with amphibians decimated by a fungal disease thought to be spread by the pet trade. Yeah, dude, everything is in shambles. We get it. And still, nobody cares. The worst affected region in South and Central America, which has seen an 89% drop in vertebrate populations largely driven by the felling of vast areas of wildlife-rich forest. In the tropical savanna called Cerrado, an area of the size of Greater London is cleared every two months, said Barrett. Yep, yeah, we're just destroying everything really fast. It is a classic example example of where the disappearance is the result of our own consumption. Because the deforestation is being driven by ever-expanding agriculture producing soy, which is being exported to countries including the UK to feed pigs and chickens, he said, the UK itself has lost much of its wildlife, ranking 189th for biodiversity loss out of 20, 218 nations in 2016. Isn't there only like 218 nations? The habitats suffering the greatest damage are rivers and lakes where wildlife population, populations are fallen 83% due to the enormous thirst of agriculture and the large number of, of dams. Again, there is this direct link between the food system and depletion of wildlife, said Barrett. Eating less meat is an essential part of reversing losses, he said. The Living Planet Index has been criticized as being too broad a measure of wildlife losses and smoothing over crucial details, but all indicators from extinction rates to intactness of ecosystems show colossal losses. They're, they all tell you the same story, said Barrett. Uh, yeah, okay. Conservation efforts can work, with tiger numbers having risen 20% in India in six years as habitat is protected. As habitat is protected. Giant pandas in China and otters in the UK have also been doing well. Yeah, we take care of certain animals it's it's like we only care about having the species around if it's the last of the bears we'll probably take care of it but it doesn't seem like anyone really cares about a species of bird going extinct because we still have birds but marco lambertini director general of wwf international said the fundamental issue was consumption we can no longer ignore the impact of current unsustainable unsustainable production models and wasteful lifestyles the world's nations are working towards a crunch meeting of the UN's Convention on Bio Biological Diversity in 2020, when new commitments for the protection of nature will be made. We need a new global deal for nature and people, and we have this narrow window of less than two years to get it, said Barrett. This, is, this really is the last chance. We have to get it right this time. Tanya Steele, chief executive of WWF, said, We are the first generation to know we are destroying our planet and the last one that can do anything about it. Yep. Yeah, uh... I personally have no faith in uh, in the global population to take care of the earth. I feel like nobody really cares. It's all about uh, the stock market right now and becoming a billionaire today and not caring about what happens in the future. If you can make $200 million by dumping stuff into, the, into a river, like, who wouldn't do that? You know? It's hard to convince people not to... 
to destroy the planet. Uh, yeah, I kind of already understood all, a lot of this stuff. Um, yeah, the world's dying. Nobody really cares. I guess I kind of don't care because no one else does. And uh, I don't really plan on being around in 200 years. So, yeah, I guess uh, technically I'm selfish. But at the same time, I don't really do anything like dump toxic waste or kill animals. So I don't think I'm really to blame. So that's it for the video. Let us know what you think by leaving a comment or giving it a thumbs up. Um, check out the Patreon link in the description if you want to help us because that would be awesome. And thanks for watching.